Can you see my screen? Yes. Right. So today we are going to discuss about the remaining concepts about the map reduce. So predominantly I'm going to cover the other concepts around map reduce essentials, what is map reduce job, how the map reduce engine work, and the step-by-step -step sequence of map reduce when the job is triggered. So I'm going to cover all these things um, on map reduce. And uh, this will be the uh, last class on map reduce uh, theoretical concept. And uh, from tomorrow onwards, we'll pick up the new concept and discuss about it. So now we don't have any uh, slide about the rest of the concepts today, uh, but I'm going to take you through the uh, conceptual analysis on those concepts, which are I um, told to discuss about it today. Right. The first one is you can see the screen. Uh, how the job tracker manages the task tracker, right? So this is the Hadoop 1.0 version uh, screen. Now, what we have to you know do here is, what is the basic essential, I mean, the core process, uh, how does it work internally in the map and reduce process? Basically, in the when a job is received from a customer, what we learned is when a job is received from the customer, the job is handled by the job tracker and will be assigned to the name node. Now, how does it work internally? If we analyze that, first input specification is always in a key value pair. That means when a customer receives, I mean, assigns a job, the input values, whatever it takes by the map and reduce, will be split uh, will split the um, you know input data into key value pair here basically map and reduce these two are different components right map is one task uh, or one um, you know segment or one stage or reduces another stage the first one map what it does is what are the data it takes to process the data that will convert into the key value pair okay and it generates the intermediary key value pairs. So ultimate job of a mapper is to get the input data and to process it and generate it into key value pair and save it locally. Okay, save it locally as a key value pair. So that is a job of a mapper. And whereas a reducer is the final task, which cannot start until the map finishes. So that means reducer will take input of map output or reducer six map output okay so this is the typical process or a cycle of how map re map and reduce functions and also there are other things like the number of reducer tasks can be defined by the uh, user and reducers can't start still map uh, mapper finishes so these are the some of the important information we need to remember and how the map and reduce coordinates how the um, you know data or input values are processed sorry and next map reduce job concept so what is a map map reduce job a job is a full map reduce program whether it is a mapper or a job in in hadoop we call a map reduce job together which is a combination of map and reducer which typically will cause a multiple map and reduce functions to be run in parallel over the life of the program so a task is now uh, when many copies of map and reduce functions are for parallel processing across the input data set. Here, a task, I mean, we also call them as a task, a total uh, job, we also call them as a task. So task is either a map and a reducer function or map or reducer. So task is also, we call them as a synonym to a job. 
um i'm sorry uh, a job is also called a synonym um, task so whether task could be map or reduce function executed on subset of a data subset of data is nothing but input data whatever it takes from the um, you know hadoop system so in all these task or a map whatever so the session is recording yeah so whether the task e whether the task map or reducer performs that is controlled and managed by the job tracker okay so this is the job of the job tracker any questions on this one yes. okay now job tracker i would like to discuss about the um, four important points about the job tracker the point number one the job tracker it runs on a separate node so which is not a part of the task node that means that is hosted and executed in a separate machine and the, the primary job of a job is to it receives the request from the client and split the and schedule a job and split the job or split the job and assign assign it to the slave nodes okay the scheduling task managing the resources what tasks are available to execute the job so all these management stuff resource management scheduling allocation of task monitoring monitoring the execution so all these things are performed by the job tracker now task tracker is simply to accept the task and execute the task and periodically informs the status back to the job tracker so these are the four steps we need to know about the job tracker and the role of a job so can you repeat the steps for a job tracker and task tracker steps right the first is job tracker runs on a separate node in a separate machine and accepts the tasks given by the or job given by the client point number 2 divide the request into small tasks schedule it and assign it to the slave nodes third one is it's a single point of failure in the sense if the job tracker fails the whole hadoop have to be on hold until the system is resumed okay and the, the fourth point is task tracker manages the tasks assigned by the job tracker okay now next one the whole concept of uh, the job tracker mapping task reducer all these things are performed in the map reduce engine okay so basically map reduce is total concept is divided into two main concepts one is job tracker and task tracker we know what is a job tracker so far we discussed in task tracker what is the role of a task tracker so here we also need to know where they located map and reduce okay jobs and tasks where they recruit uh, where they located job tracker present in the master node this is a th thumb rule we need to remember and task tracker in the slave nodes so ma ma job tracker is a master and task trackers are slave nodes okay task tracker uh, locates in the slave node or a worker node the primary responsibility of a job tracker is to uh, re responsibility is to assign the task uh, uh, assign the task to the data node and data node consisting of a task tracker which are submitted by the uh, submitted by the job tracker and provide the result back to the task tracker so this is the uh, map reduce engine responsibility so data and worker are the same right mm -hmm. data node and the worker node are the same data node worker node slave node okay are same yeah are same yeah so let's quickly 
understand some of the points about the map process and reduce process okay the first one is as soon as the map process is initiated what it does it take all the input record in parallel okay so it basically the process the all input data now when the job track when the job is about to start what have what happens the job tracker will go and check with the name node asking for the location of the data asking for the location of the data where i get the input which is located in the data nodes and based on the information given by the name node it go and pick up the data which are saved in the slave or a data node pick up the data and it try to assign the task to the same data node if the data node is, is present and the resource whatever is present is sufficient enough it try to assign the same task to the uh, task tracker where the data is available the reason is to save the bandwidth to save the network to save the resources okay because to copy the data from this location and then assign it to the other task tracker consumes lot of data i mean consumes network bandwidth and the resources therefore we try to assign the same task uh, same uh, task tracker and the map process initiated that is that that, that is called input record uh, you know collaboration or gathering input data so all these once the input data is collected before a task is executed all the tasks are assigned to the all the job is assigned to the task tracker in parallel and then reduce process is all about the submitting the output okay so the job is to the job of a, a mapper is to collect the data which is which we call them as input data and process it in parallel and convert as a key value pair and store in the slave nodes where the job was executed okay now the reducer is the next business the final step where the business logic applies here which is precisely we call them as submitting the data submitting in submitting in the sense not submitting some submitting so it is not necessarily um adding uh, or you know may, you know you know, so, uh, you know addition it is not that it initially applies the the kind of uh, uh, business logic it 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 will uh, applies the business logic is like reduce by key by um you know save uh, as a text file save as a sequence file or in a for each loop you know transform the i mean execute the um, values or take a percentage so whatever the logic we write in our map and reduce function that applies to the reduce process okay so the task tracker keep track of the status of the job and will assign it back to the a job tracker about the status um, of the task and make sure all this map job runs on a parallel task uh you know parallel task tra uh, task uh, tracker slave nodes okay so this is all about the map reduce process and the sequentially yeah, so mm -hmm. the task tracker the task tracker will track the job i mean track the data and then it will give the status of the job to the job tracker right task tracker monitors the assigned task mon uh, monitors the assigned task by the job job tracker mm -hmm. and update the status to the job tracker ideally okay. job tracker is a project manager task tracker is a team lead team lead job is to update the status to the project manager at the end of the day the same way task tracker periodically update the task execution that means task might take a fraction of seconds or it might say uh, might take few minutes as well okay uh, so in that case task tracker need to inform the job tracker how much percentage of work has been finished and where are where is the situation how is the predicted time uh, so far how much is finished uh, the speed of the execution so all these things are informed by the task tracker so job now here how the how do job work process executes there are basically five step process 
the whole map reduce process consisting of five step process the first one is job submission okay i'll take i'll take you through simply and quickly the first one is job submission the second one is distribution of input split okay distribution of input split and third one is the coordination with the task tracker fourth one resubmission of tasks fifth one or final one success or failure status what is a job submission hadoop map reduce is a job okay hadoop map reduce is a job submitted by the client in the form of input file or number of input split of files which we call them as a collection okay so client requests for a job and provides the uh, location of the data so the data could be in the form of collections or a text file and uh, the input for input data is collected from the hdfs checks with the name node go and uh, collect the data wherever the data is saved in the hdfs file uh, in the in the hadoop system and collect the data and this is called input data okay whether the client provides or collected from hdfs it is called input data now the step two distribution of input split now the input data will will be sliced down to small splits okay small number of split that split is assigned by the job tracker to its slave nodes that is called a track uh, you know task trackers that is the second step so job tracker distribute the small amount of input split to separate tasks and the third one would be coordination with the task tracker the job tracker always coordinates with the task tracker where the where the task tracker update the status to the job tracker fourth step resubmission of tasks in the sense when the task tracker realizes the submission task is failed then what it does it assign the task to the another slave node it won't run the failed jobs in the same say in the same worker node for the better security reasons or performance reasons or what it does it assign the failed task to the other slave nodes and finally update the success and the failure back to the you know um, client and the results are stored inside the uh, slave nodes in a, in a particular location and provide the uh, status or provide the uh, data location to the name node and the results back to the client okay now this is how the 1 2 3 4 5 steps are executed in the map reduce first job submission by the client sir or job submission uh, by job always submitted by the client okay. like a, what is a job i mean what is a job submission by the client can you give me an example for a job breaka yes sir yeah can you give me an example of uh, a mapper i'm sorry a job uh, uh, okay so an example could be if a board of directors want wants to know how the territory is performed in the in the last quarter year okay the board of directors wants to know how the business is performing in the last quarter so what they have to know what they have to do they have to pull out the complete information about the sales volume of sales how the performance is done how the sales people have be, have been doing so far and how much revenue the company have generated so far this is a, you know this is the task for them this is the information they need so that is called a job so map reduce consider this as a job not only this whatever the client requests to process it and get them the results is called a job in the mindset of map reduce that is called a job understand 
Now, characteristics of a map reduces. I'm going to give you some of the uh, snippets about the map reduce, and we call them as map reduce characteristics. So, basic some of the basic characteristics of map reduce is number one, map reduce handles the very large volume of data. It is not advisable for a small data processing. Of course, once in a while, if your job uh, is a very small amount of data to be processed, small amount of calculations to be done, that is fine. But predominantly, the whole Hadoop and MapReduce job is to process the huge amount of data. Okay, for example, gigabytes, petabytes, terabytes of data to be processed, not like MBs of data. Normal MBs of data can be processed by the standard uh, you know, applications. Okay, standard ERP, standard Oracle applications, standard analytics application. They can do it, right? So the other characteristics is the Hadoop works in a warm data, W-O-R-M. It follows the W-O-R-M formula. That means read once and read, sorry, write once, read many, W-O-R-M. Write once, read many. That means the default nature of the Hadoop is the data cannot be changed, immutable. That means it, it creates the data once and you can read as many times as you want. And if you transform it to the new, um, you know, what you call, uh, uh, if you transform the data into the new set of data, then that is created as a new set, new data set and stored it. Which is our which we, which we call them as intermediate data. Okay, so once the data is created, you can read many times, and your your you won't normally change the data. Okay, and all these job the co another core important capability is not just the not only the processing the huge amount of data, it also process in parallel. Okay, parallel job execution is another capability. And map reduce operations are typically performed by the same physical processors. Okay, so the map and reducer, whatever the tasks are assigned to, it has got a processor for their slave node. So the same processor will perform the map and reduce job. And other characteristics is this point I already mentioned, where the data is located, where the data is located, there the map and reducer tasks are performed, ideally, to save the bandwidth and to save the resources. Okay, and the it the whole map reduce process uses the cheap commodity hardware. It leverages the commodity hardware. The reason why is it minimizes the um, you know investment to the client. It minimizes the uh, you know, op operate it, it minimizes the um, cost to handle the uh, Hadoop work. I mean, the Hadoop infrastructure. So, um, so that's one of the capabilities. So, unlike the traditional software applications, it doesn't expect the uh, hi-fi uh, hardware systems. It can run on the cheap commodity hardware. And at the runtime, at the runtime. Uh, MapReduce take care of the splitting and moving of data for operations, okay? And uh, that means uh, it split the data and it moves the data across the data nodes uh, among the partitions and saves the data in a particular location. That is all about the uh, splitting and moving the data. And uh, build MapReduce, okay, this is the characteristics of a MapReduce. Okay. There are certain real time examples for a map reduce process. I would like to share with them with you. What are those real time examples? Some of the real time use cases for a map reduce is simple algorithms such as Greg, grep, text indexing, reverse indexing, some of the examples of the um, real time use cases. And the data intensive actions such as sorting and uh, data mining operations, search engine operations like keyboard indexing, rendering, paging, or enterprise analytics. These are the analytics 
or usually call them as a map reduce uh, you know use cases okay so what are the simple algorithms data intensive computing data mining search engine and enterprise analytics so these are the some of the use cases of map reduce okay the we understand what is the map reduce how does it work the process now what we have to understand is when we get the requirement to perform the map reduce how does it work we want to know the process i will split this process map reduce into eight different steps i'll take you through one after another so eight steps of map reduce program is first when we got a job we need to analyze if the problem can be parallelized and solvable using map reduce okay what are the task we assigned the first as a you know big data um, developer what we have to is can this task is parallelized and in the sense can we split this task and execute in parallel parallelly execute this and it can be solved by the map reduce job we need to analyze that first one the second step is design and implement the solution in the mapper class and reducer class that means mapper we already discussed mapper is a separate task and reducer is a separate task reducer's input i mean map, mapper output will be a reducer input okay so these two are separate tasks so these are technically these two are independent classes okay and as soon as the mapper class and reducer classes are designed and implemented they are compiled inside the hadoop and once the compilation is successful the fourth step is it packages the data okay once it is successful that generates the java code inside it and this java code are converted into the jar files okay so you remember one thing the map and reducer are run on the jvm okay java virtual machines underneath the whole map reduce was written on the java program and they runs on the java runtime environment that is called jvm what a jvm expects as an input or input a jar files so once the map reduce classes are compiled and executed they are converted into jar files okay they are converted into jar files and assigned it to the task tracker to map i mean all these map and reduce performs in the slave nodes where the uh, task tracker located so all these process is converted into jar executable files and the next step is you need to configure the applications okay what it requires as a developer to configure a, a job or to configure a job what we need you need to know how many how you need to define how many number of mappers and reducers are required and where is the, what is the input data and output data okay for a map reduce job we need to have two or four important things one is how many number of mappers and how many number of reducers okay and what is the input data and where is the input data and where is the output location okay and find and next load the data launch the job and monitor the job finally results are executed okay these are the steps i'll quickly take you through step 1 determine uh, determine if the assigned task is parallelized and solvable using map reduce second one is implement the solution using map and reduce design and implement the solution using mapper and reducer class compile it in hadoop and generate the jar files configure the application using number of uh, configure the application with number of mappers number of reducers input data output data and load the data and monitor the job finally get the results so these are the Sir, steps mm -hmm. can you repeat the slowly ones i can ask miss yeah. some steps determine okay. if problem is parallelized and solvable using map and reduce program mm -hmm. next design and implement mapper class and reducer class compile the source data 
in hadukkor okay. package the code as a char executable files okay. configure application as to okay. number of mappers number of thread users input and output data input and output locations load the data okay. launch job and monitor the results monitor the progress finally acquire the load results load the data launch job launch job launch mm -hmm. job and study the results Okay. Any questions so far? No. Yes. Basically, this map and reduce is a framework. Framework is nothing but procedure to do procedure to do the things. Okay, in a in a structured way. Framework is nothing but a procedure to do a job in a structured way okay so some of the requirements for the map and reduce hadoop map reduce is the location of the job input the location of the job input in a distributed file system the location of the job output in a distributed system what are the requirements for the map and reduce i'm talking about okay the location where the data can be secured or acquired at the same time the location for the output where to store the data the input format output format these are the requirements for the map and reduce where to get the location of the input and location to store the data input format what format the data is going to and what format the map reducer to be executed the output okay and the mapper functions or mapper classes mapper class consisting of the mapper transformation functions okay so mapper class and reducer class and the job doesn't uh, okay so and then what it does after it receives the what are the requirements of a location format and the classes map and reduce the framework will partition the data using input files and schedule the task and execute the job okay if it requested it sort the result shuffle the result and finally output is ex uh, output is presented or produced ultimately the job is where the location of the job input location output location format of input output data and the mapper class and reducer class so all these informations are required for the map and reduce any questions these are uh, some of the bullet points you need to remember when it comes about uh, map and reduce that makes you confident and clear about the map reduce concept okay these are the sometimes these theoretical concept concepts might uh, make you a bit bored um, but ultimately these are very much important information in depth information about the map reduce failure of you know knowledge on these concepts you can't you know i mean you can't do your job quite effectively because all these concepts takes you through the in-depth knowledge about the map reduce how they work internally and the information whatever you know i'm sharing with you are my personal notes so therefore try to focus as much as possible okay and try to take take down the notes as much as you can right um i'm going to take you through some of the features about the map reduce we already discussed and to quickly uh, collect it map reduce function is to generate the key value pairs right and the framework the framework which what is which framework map reduce framework convert each record input into key value pairs that's a one time input to the map function and the map output is also a set of key value pairs and the reduce function is called one time for each key okay so when the map reduce generate key value pairs 
the reducer function applies to the each key concatenate all the keys and summation manipulation all these things happen all these things will be done by the reducer right so this is the job of the reducer and ultimately the reducer method output the data in a key value pairs as well or process the key value pairs and put the data in a format you want it reducer i mean reducer take the input key value pair and process it and give you the output format the actual output you wanted okay so here is the simple steps how it works the when the user there is no steps like you know the sequence user basically provides the input location and the format of data and also provides the other information like what is the expected format and the job tracker accepts those input format and divide that into tasks and the task tracker get the get the data i mean get the task and um, and assign it to the slave uh, nodes and are uh, assign it to the um, you know inside the um, task tracker and execute it and task tracker update the status back to the um, job and uh, before it performs internally the slave nodes communicate with one to another which is done by the reducer when the job tracker assigned a task to the task tracker task is executed when the task is executed one task communicates with the other task that is done by the reducer once the map map task is finished and before the task tracker uh, before the reducer picks up and, uh, and finishes the rest of the intermediary data that shuffle the data group the data and um, reorganize the data so all these things among the partitions among the slave nodes are done by the reducer and the final output is collected and stored in a location where the user was asked to do it okay i'm going to this is the final thing there are basically two step process in this map reduce framework reka and uh, rohit user sure. responsibility and framework responsibility so far we have discussed about how the map reduce job how it works and everything now i'm going to ask simple questions and you need to tell me whether this task is a user responsibility or a framework framework is map reduce responsibility okay tell me um first question rohit setting up a yes, job sir. who set up the job user mm -hmm. and uh, input location and output location uh, the by the framework input location and output location I mean, hmm? by name node input location Sorry. output location is the responsibility of a name node mm -hmm. input location output location is specified by the user okay data location is specified by the name node when the job okay. is initiated name node tells the uh, job tracker where the data is located okay and uh, yeah this is the job of the name node and uh, name location node. input location output location is performed is done by the user user okay 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 expected input format and expected output format who specifies input format who specifies the input format and output format user user remember specifying specifying yeah, user. giving the information giving. is done by the user user okay. don't think from a technical point of view try to analyze from the normal perspective okay, okay. Uh, if you if you could put if you could try to simplify the things okay specifying i in a job who will design it the user client wants the user okay yeah. and input location yeah. where the data is located we need to provide the collection so that is a user who provides the location of the turned what format we wanted so that is a user job okay now rekha for you yeah distributing the job 
and assign it to the task who performs it user or framework distributing a job assign it to a task who perform who performs it user or a framework framework mm -hmm. running a map operation shuffling sorting user or a framework framework mm -hmm. placing the output provide the output details who provides the user or framework framework so this is the joint collaboration of a user and framework i'll quickly um, re recap it setting up a job in provide the input location and output location expected input format and output format is specified by the user distribution of a job among the task nodes in the cluster running a map job running the shuffling sorting reducing job placing an output in a location inform the user about the job completion or job status all these things are done by the framework okay i have got some more notes about the map reduce but however um, that is not required for you as of now um so what i think is theoretical concept about um, these things should be 